Annalise and welcome back to my channel. Today is actually Monday, it is the start of weekly vlog 20. Um, basically this morning I phoned my GP and I got the, um, well I've spoke to the receptionist and she's actually getting the doctor to phone me back just to discuss things because I've got a bit of a um, stomach problem at the moment. So I might need some more medication for that. So he's phoning at, I think it's like five o'clock tonight. It's just after three o'clock now. Um, basically, I was watching 13 Reasons Why. It's series four. My opinion is, I just think it's a little bit, um, it's like all over the place. I'm not following at all. It's probably just me, but I just not following at all. So, um, yeah i will finish that eventually obviously i've got to finish it because when i watch something because i've watched all of them now i need to keep watching it to find out so yeah i'm gonna do that we was also last night and we're basically binge watching um vampire diaries now it is really really old um series and as you just saw in my previous um weekly vlog 19 that we are actually, we only started it the other day and I think we may be on series two now. Now, as far as I know, I think there's like, I don't know if there's 21 or 22 episodes um, from the first one, which is, it's a, a lot, um, but I love it. It's actually really, really good. I love anything to do with supernatural, like, you know, um, werewolves, vampires, ghosts, all that kind of thing, which is, I love it. So it's actually, you know it is a really really good program and i do actually like it a lot we've received our tesco order it's not long come i think it's probably about 15 minutes i've set everything all up so i'm going to show you guys in a minute um the only thing we miss well the only things we're missing is i'm missing one little jam lettuce i've got one and because i ordered two so i'm just missing one which is perfectly fine it's it's okay and then I'm also missing a garlic granules and also a orange zero like fizzy pop, which is fine because I've already ordered that stuff anyway. So um so we've done that. We I have had to phone Tesco only because the one of the apple juices, the lid, which I will show you, but the lid is actually missing. So it's one of those like plastic things you pop down and it pours out. That's actually missing. And um, yeah, I just had to obviously be careful because the opening of it is, it's kind of like dotted lines. And obviously if air gets into it, we can't be drinking stuff like that. So they just refunded me. It's only 59 pence anyway, it's not like a big deal. So they've refunded me that. And um, yeah, everything's coming. I'm happy with it anyway. So I'll wish you around and I'll show you what I've got. I'll start from here. So I've got two cloudy lemonades. These are the no added sugar zero. And then I've got the two physio. Basically, these are Vimto. They're 50 pence each and these are so nice. And then I got this. This is the balsamic glaze drizzle. It's £1.50 and that is actually so yummy. I put that onto my bruschettas. So that's good. I got some just washing up liquid, just the Tesco one. I brought some prawn shells. They basically skips these, are to be quite honest. Um, got some chicken gravy granules. These are for Sean. There's three for a pound. He likes those. Bananas for me, Sean and the bunnies. Some garlic puree. Some cherry tomatoes. A large cucumber. And these are the, that's a sage and onion stuffing mix. I think it's about 40 something pence a dairy milk giant buttons and two mozzarellas i've actually got one in the fridge as well those are good because i'm going to be making my homemade pizzas well pizza pitters and also these are really good for the homemade garlic bread on flatbreads and also the bruschettas i make these are the little gem lettuces so i was meant to get two of those but i got one but that is absolutely fine and then I've got the Smoky Barbecue Mild Taco Boat Kit, the Old El Paso one. Now, in here you get the boats and you also get a seasoning and salsa. So what I've got is in the freezer, I've actually got some minced beef. It was fresh and I froze it. 
um, and then I put some sweet corn and onions in for tacos. I brought some fresh bread. This is just for, um, it's just like a little bit of a burn on there. Um, this is for hot dogs. So I've got some in the oven and then I've got some scotch eggs, some wholemeal, oh no, sorry, these ones are the white pitters and then I've got some folded flatbreads. I've actually got two baby potatoes with herb and butter. Now you get, um, I think it's three for the price of two. So how I did it is I brought one of those, one mash and one mash and then done the exact same. I just doubled it. Then I brought some tender stem broccoli. These are the right ones because last week I brought the, there was only so tiny, um, which there was the wrong ones. And these are the ones I actually like, the huge ones. So that's going to be for the both of us. Um, these will do two meals. So that will be me and Sean for one day and me and Sean for the uh, next day. We love tender stem broccoli. Steamed, it's so, so yummy. So these ones was actually on sale for two for three pounds. So awesome that's really good then i've got a cream fields which one is this one yeah the lighter mature cheese got that and i've got some cooked ham we can use it on sandwiches but i also use it on the pita pizzas as well got some green beans these are yummy especially steamed or in a wok and here we've got some pork belly slices these are actually really, really nice. I think the £2.10 or £2.15, they are actually really nice. I do have these most weeks. Then we have got the, this is the Tesco, some fried chicken, thighs and drumsticks. These were on special for £3, normally £4, but um, I saw them yesterday and actually added them on. Then I've got two of these mashed potatoes and two of the root vegetable mash which actually comes with potato carrots parsnips and swede mashed with milk and butter these are yummy so that's what i've got this week hi guys it's actually wednesday today yesterday we didn't do much at all we was watching just some tv and you know chilling housework that kind of thing um it's a bit overcast today um it looks i don't know if it's gonna rain i'm actually outside in my garden some of my lilies are actually coming out i'll show you those in a minute um sean's just gonna mow the front lawn to get it all nice and neat and trim some things down and yeah so basically i'm gonna be cooking i'm gonna put it on in a bit it's um i've done it before in my previous vlogs it's basically sausage with carrots and onions in a gravy and I put it into my big like casserole bowl into the oven and then I put mashed potatoes and some tender stem broccoli because we love tender stem broccoli so um so yeah we're not really going to do much we're obsessed with vampire diaries at the moment I said like previously it's just so good we're literally on series two now and the last one was like 22 episodes or something like that so um I had some more things delivered i spoke to my doctor on monday and he actually sent on the night because i think i had the phone call just after about half five at night and he actually sent some more two lots of laxatives and then this cream and then this other cream and things like that um he sent multiple things for me and then it came yesterday i had it delivered and i had four of the items that i needed and then also i had my um what was it my two test strips and also some lancets and also my ketone test strips which there's 50 and you get five boxes because there's 10 in each um it's just literally little strips and it's waste of packaging but it's fine um so i had that my stomach's still not very good at the moment um i'm suffering quite a lot with that but as i'm obviously paraplegic it can mess up with everything um your bladder your bowel everything like that and also i'm diabetic as well so when your sugars are not very good it's all over the place um with the traceba i normally 
I, I have done it in my legs, obviously that's not going to make a difference. Um, but the absorption is a lot slower there. I normally do it in my stomach, but I'm getting like these lump things and it's not good and it's quite painful. So I'm doing my short, well, fast acting into my stomach or my legs and in my arm, because um, I can't reach it. Sean does my long acting receiver in my arm. So I've got my free cell libra here and I'm doing it in that arm and then we'll switch around. Because the next Freestyle Libra, which is um, a week today, that's going to go in this side for the first time. Hopefully it doesn't hurt as much as last time because that actually stung. And to be honest, it hurt for about two days after. Um, not severely like, ah, but it did hurt a little bit, but it's fine now. Um, so yeah, Sean's just going to do that and I'm going to go in and, well, I don't help. I just watch him do it and then I'm going to put the... Um, dinner on but before that i'll show you my beautiful lilies and then some of them haven't come out yet um i think one two three haven't come out but three have and i'll show you the pretty colors that i'll show you now those are my red lilies them so cute these haven't come out they look a bit dead but they're not they do go like that these are my beautiful yellow lilies and that's up my garden we've moved that here that was to the right of me but we moved it um this is my fuchsia trailer so i've got that and then i've actually got some by my little rocky got, got to pick some of these weeds out because some are, literally there was picked out the other, about two weeks ago and they keep going back um they're the, the beautiful orange color and then i've got some more things there but on there it's cute i'm just trying to look for the rest of the seven dwarfs which well the six dwarfs now and we find somebody that actually does them so i'll show you on here this is my hanging basket um this was tiny when it first came but as you can see there's gonna be lots of pretty colors and it's getting big so um so i'm just gonna go and Basically, go and watch Sean do the gardening. It is Thursday today. Yes, yeah, so um, it's actually coming up to lunchtime now. I'm going to make a bruschetta in a minute with some um, tuna, cucumber, lettuce cups. So I'm going to do that in a minute. Do, 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 do. So, um... <clears throat> What I've done this morning is literally got up, fed the rabbits, fed Mia with the cat. So my cat's Mia, my rabbits are called Luna and Thor. So they've got some yummy vegetables. <laughs> they've got, they're actually obsessed with um, what we give them. They love it. Um, and also they have two egg cups. For, that's for the both of them. So one egg cup each twice a day. So they get two egg cups each a day so four so they get that um when i mean egg cups i mean like the small literal egg cups um <clears throat> so they've got that and yeah and then i was watching a bit of netflix and also a bit of youtube because as soon as i wake up yes i know i try not to watch so much of like screens and stuff like that but i do end up like scrolling through social media um as a lot of people actually do so yes that's just the life um and then i got sean to do my traceba in my arm i've actually switched dicks at the moment um i'm getting like little lumps underneath my um stomach so i don't really want to be keep getting those um so i've decided to do it in my arm i can do it in my leg but the absorption was a lot slower there so i do it in my arm um put it into here see how that goes i've took my medications this morning a lot um <coughs> excuse me so i took quite a lot of my meds i'm taking my meds for my stomach as well um as well as inhalers normal medications omeprazoles insulin all that kind of stuff i haven't took my fast acting insulin just yet because i'm gonna obviously make my food and then do it i'm actually having um i got some just um bread here 
I'm going to toast a slice. I put it in the oven, toast it and then cut it. Literally, I kind of make bruschettas out of it. So do that with some of this. This is the Tesco one. It's just a balsamic glaze, basically. That's what that is. And then I put a few um, lettuce cups, like salad cups on the side. So they're super yummy. So I've got some tuna. And then mix it with a little bit of mayonnaise, just a little bit. And then get the um, salad cups. I've got a little jam lettuce. Put it in a bit of kitchen towel to pat it dry. No one wants some soggy lettuce. Like, no. Um, so we don't want none of that. Um, and, yeah, so I'm going to – I'll test my blood and I'll show you what it is at the moment. Okay, so it's 12.2 going steady. As I said, that is – I know it's on the higher side, but for me, that's a lot better than it has been. So for the past, like, I'll say the past three weeks, maybe. Yeah, about three weeks, probably longer than that. My bloods have been kind of all over the place. So I'll just get it up. So I'll try and go back. Okay, so this was the 5th of June. Um, it's the 11th today. Oh, focus. As you can see, it goes like it's still there is where I want to be. That big, like chunky blue line. And it goes up and up and down and down. It's about 21 and it comes straight down quite quick. And it goes up quick again and then comes down slowly. That is just ridiculous. Um... Like, I've had a lot of bad... I haven't had my hopos, which is awesome, and I think that's really, really good. But I'm having, like, really bad um, hopers, so I'm going really high, which we don't want either. That can mess up with your stomach and everything else. Hello? Four? That scared me then. It's like digging there on the floor. <laughs> that so scared me. Come on, boy. Oh my god, that is <laughs> that is scary. Um, so yeah, so we don't want these, we don't want it too high. With that, um, normally it takes about three to four days for it to even I've been doing it now for the past about oh, this is probably third or fourth day, something like it might be the third or fourth. Um and it's not got worse, so that's a good sign because if it started to go like really, you know, all over the place, then that's not good. So starting the arms and then I've got my Freestyle Libra here. You can see the little bumpy, bumpy boom. There you go. You can actually see it really close. Um, so I've got that there. And then next week, yeah, next Wednesday, I'm going to move it to this arm and then Sean can inject into this arm so i'll keep swapping because obviously at the moment i'm not injecting anywhere around this arm just in case i don't think it'll mess with any um glucose readings but you know you never know four come on boy four it's actually stuck in the curtain four come on it's okay he, the, where we've got um my like long um crushed velvet curtains he kind of crawls around him um because he absolutely loves that so you have to be careful he's okay um it's quite nice so yeah so we don't want my bloods going too high i don't want them going too low this meal i tend to find this doesn't spoke me a lot so that's really good um obviously it's a carb um it's carbohydrate and you know there's carbs in here but it's basically what i do is bread and then i put some cherry tomatoes on and some mozzarella and then i put i i actually put some garlic salt uh, a little bit of normal salt just literally a pinch and then black pepper crack, black, pe cracked black pepper and then this just a drizzle of this and then some salad cups with which has tuna mayo and <laughs> he's literally yeah he's gone um 
and then I drizzle this and then we have some salad cups which has literally just some tuna mayo and then I put some cucumber in and they are yummy so I'm gonna go and do this and I'll show you when I'm done I've done my salad cups and also my bruschetta so I'll show you my bruschetta now I'm gonna break it so um so that's it so it's got mozzarella on literally just like on a, a bread put it in the oven and then put some cherry tomatoes on and you put some mozzarella a little bit of garlic salt tiny pinch of salt and then black pepper and then put the balsamic glaze on they're absolutely yummy i can't wait to eat those and then my salad cups normally i do the tuna mayo with cucumber but this time i've put sweet corn in it to just add a little bit of crunch oh, um and i've got a few of those so literally it's just that so i'm gonna go and eat my food because i'm hungry now and yeah so i will see you tomorrow it's friday today um this morning i received my emergency food package similar things as before so you know you've got your onions your carrots your tinned vegetables beans um milk toilet roll all that kind of um stuff so that's been put away um and literally i've been watching youtube and um i watched a little bit of netflix earlier and I've, it's actually early, so it is nearly two o'clock. So what I've done is I've actually put our, what we'd have normally at night time, so our dinner for lunch. So basically I, I get the, um, their lamb chop, no they're not, their lamb shanks and they are, they've actually got red wine gravy in there. So they're just frozen, you get two of them. You put them into the oven and I've put some carrots chopped and peeled long so like batons um so we can have those as like the roasted carrots and then I literally just put it in the oven I think it's about an hour something like that so it is frozen and it comes like solid but then as the like lamb cooks the juices and honestly it makes an, an absolutely beautiful gravy so We've got that in there and also we are going to steam some broccoli so some some fresh tender stem broccoli and also we're going to steam some fresh green beans as well and then we're going to put it with a bit of mash i've got the root vegetable mash which was from tesco and it's got carrots in swede potatoes it is yummy so i like it more than normal uh, mash so i prefer that so it's, it comes like as a, an orangey color anyway so we have that with some gravy so what sean does is when it cut the juices come out so like makes a jus so then we put a little bit of um gravy granules in there and then thicken it up slightly and it is it's beautiful and i've got my mint as well because you can't have a lamb dinner without no mint sauce well sean does he doesn't like the mint sauce um but that is that's beautiful so we're gonna have that for lunch because sometimes on a night time i don't really like heavy meals because they make you so bloated and so full you feel a bit sluggish and my bloods are better to like for my um, diabetes it's a lot better for me to have it in the daytime rather than nighttime we do obviously do it at night now and again but i don't like it too late because i don't have meals at set times i we just eat when we want to have our dinner or you know uh lunch whatever but it just works best for me especially with like we call this like a really heavy meal because it is but it's a yummy meal and we love lamb it's really nice so we're gonna do that um watch some vampire diaries um we just that really um the weather's not very good it's very like overcast today apparently it might be getting better on monday or i think it was sunday and monday but if it does that'd be good because then we can start to 
get the um, hot tub back up again. It literally doesn't take long. I think it took about an hour to two hours, something like that, for it to fill with the water. But to blow it up, it's like five minutes. And the lid only takes like two minutes. So not long at all. And I ordered yesterday. I finally got some multi-function um well the chlorine tablets with like a clarifier and an algocidin they're not the clear water ones i was going to get these ones are off amazon i'm not too sure of the name i'll show you when they get delivered they are meant to be coming monday by royal mail i think we do have amazon prime and that was set for then but i think they get delivered by royal mail i'm sure they was for the 20 gram tablets of the small you normally put about two to three of them into the cam connect into the hot tub or you can use the um best i think it's called is it best away it's like a float um thing you can put them in but we've got the cam connect that came with the hot tub so we you put about two to three two to three in there and that should last i think we said four to five days something like that and then you can click to see if you want it like maximum or minimum or in between whatever you want really to be honest you've got to just trial and error it for the first few times anyway so i've got those that was only 22 pounds something and you get 50 of them so you know they will definitely last this summer next summer i will get them earlier so rather than waiting till like may june i'll just get them earlier in the year so then we've got them throughout obviously the summer months and the warmer period rather than waiting because there's lots of people out there who have actually just um they're trying to buy a lazy spa right now and i don't think they can get them till i think it's july august and by then it's a shame because the sun will be you know <laughs> going really and it, it is a shame because you know you want to get your money's worth and actually use it so like i said you don't really need to take it down we chose to do that because obviously this rain it has been terrible and they do say to disconnect the pump in severely like bad uh rain and things like that because obviously it's you know it is very expensive and if it does basically fail and you know if it does break i think they're about 300 pounds just on their own for a pump and obviously that spa my spa was a lot more than that so it's kind of it's one of those where we chose to bring to actually you know take it all down it literally didn't take that, that long it took longer to let the air out than actually to blow it up it takes five minutes as i said before and the water about an hour to two hours it depends i don't know if it was about an hour hour and a half something like that so that's okay when it comes sunny then we can go back in there because i enjoyed it and to be honest with the jets it's so good on my spine um because i've got a spinal cord injury from the waist down so i can't feel anything in my legs um them completely i'm completely paralyzed from the waist down so when i get in the warm in, in the warm when i get in the water it what we normally do is we do try and have it warmer because when it's too cold obviously when i get in i'm not going to know and to be honest you don't want it freezing cold anyway because that defeats the point because i might as well have just put my normal pool up with the freezing cold water so we're not doing that we have it warm we like it about 32 33 something like that degrees so the air jets are really good for my spine so they're bubbling and it honestly it is really good and it helps and soothes my back and to be honest sean does have um, bad back as well so it soothes him as well and it's nice especially when it's nice and warm but at the moment, like I said, it's rubbish weather. It is absolutely awful. I can't wait for the sun to come back. That'd be amazing. So, yeah, so I'm going to get on cooking my lunch. And then I will see you tomorrow, which will be Saturday. It's Saturday evening now. It's actually after half past seven at night. Um, Me and Sean decided to go for a little well sean walks i roll um but we went just kind of like for a, 
you know for a while um because we're allowed to actually go out now only for like um form of exercise for me obviously being on the shielded list um we're, that's what we're allowed to do um i think you're allowed to go once a day or something like that so i've actually gone out i went with my mask and things like that so we went out it's, it's actually a really really nice day i think they said it's gonna thunder um and lightning i think there's gonna be like a thunderstorm which <laughs> if it is gonna happen it needs to happen and then you know get the sun back out because i need the sun um, my bromide tablets actually came today for the pool so they've come they actually came by real mail this morning and basically i've been watching i watched ted one and ted two today and also obviously we went for that little walk and then sean's um just fed the rabbits and mia and also cleaned the rabbits as well and basically what we're going to have for tea is we're going to have some southern fried chicken i got from tesco we're going to have that with some sweet corn and i think sean's going to do some a few homemade chips maybe something like that um and we've got some gravy left over from yesterday so basically it's like a jus really not a gravy but it's a jus um to dip it in so that'll be really nice so we're just going to have that really and just chill out and watch Vampire Diaries because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like literally obsessed. <laughs> it's actually uh, become my obsession. I'm I just every day I'm like, I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Um, it's that bad. We're even, I think we're nearly on season three and we only started like, what, a few days ago or something like that. So um, yeah, so we did that. Tomorrow is just going to literally be um, going to put some new bedding on because this needs to be washed and do some more washing. Hopefully, if it's sunny, I can let the clothes air dry, get some natural um, daylight on them, get it all dried and probably just a day of household chores because that's what being an adult is. Uh, so we've got to do that. So... Um, I hope you like this video, like and subscribe to this channel, that will be amazing. Also go check out Sean's channel and also our joint channel, the links are in the description box below. Um, hope you like this week's vlog, stay tuned for next week's vlog and I will see you soon, bye!